Let's give you toddler hairstyle. This is my new baby sister. Her name is Rosie. So this is Rosie, our new baby. She is about seven weeks old. She doesn't have quite as much hair as Nova yet, but we wanted to introduce you guys. Do you love having a baby sister? Yeah, are you a proud big sister? She is, she loves her very much. So today we are gonna be showing you some school hairstyles. Um, I love half up styles because I love how they look from the front. So we are gonna stick with some very simple styles that you can do um, for school pictures. And we are going to be using a topsy tail tool in one of our styles. And then you're also gonna need some elastics, water bottle, um, our favorite spray gel, which I will link down below. Should we give them a close up look? Is she so sweet? Rosie says, hi everyone. And these are arms, say hi. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our style. I'm just going to wet the root of the hair down for this style. These are half up styles and I really only need control over the top of the hair. So I'm spraying it down a little bit and then I'm using my favorite leave-in conditioner. It's a 10. Um, this is a leave-in conditioner. It strengthens the hair. It also acts as a heat protectant um, and it's really good at getting rid of tangles. Then I'm going to take my wet dry brush and just brush through the hair. As you can see the roots are the only wet part. I leave the bottom of the hair dry. So from here I'm going to make a deep right side part above her eyebrow and then just comb it out. The next part that I'm going to make is by her ear. I'm going to leave a little bit of hair down by the ear and then make a part also at the back of the crown. So this will just be this little left section that I'm working with. For now I'm going to clip it out of the way and then I just want to put this back section into a ponytail. I'm not going to be working with it, but it's important to get it out of the way so I don't accidentally incorporate some of that hair into my style. From here, I'm going to bring this section down, spray it down with some water and spray gel, and then I will comb that all the way through the hair. It will just help you give the hold that you need and tame those flyaways. So I'm going to take about a one inch section and come all the way down from the top to the bottom and then I'm going to comb it out and place an elastic right next to that left sided part line. The next thing that I will do is create, take another section directly behind that that is about an, another inch, part it out and then this front ponytail I'm actually going to split it in half Add the back half of the ponytail to the second ponytail and leave half of that first ponytail down. Then I will add it to that second ponytail. I'll create a third part and just repeat what I did before. So I'm taking the second ponytail, I'm splitting it in half, dropping the front half, and the back half I'm going to add to my third ponytail directly behind it. It's important to keep these elastics over by that side part line to get this particular look. And then I have one more one inch section to go. Just going to comb it out. Again, split this third ponytail in half, drop the front half, and add the second back half to the fourth ponytail. So I like her hair to either be smooth or curled for school pictures, so I don't use heat on her hair very often, but I'm actually going to take my flat iron through her hair. I don't set it to the hottest setting, I've actually got it at about 350, and I'm just going to smooth out the front of the hair. You could also use a curling iron and put some curls in it, it adds a cute effect as well. Um, I will link a couple hot irons that I really like down below, as well as the curling iron that we use. Our next style is a simple diagonal braid. We're going to be using the same part lines that we did from the last style. So I've got a deep right side part at the back of the crown and then one halfway down by the ear. 
From here, I am going to come out this section and take a small triangular section, parting it out at a diagonal. And this is about one and a half to two inches, or about a fourth of this um, section, this entire section up front. From here, I'm going to add an elastic to this front area that I just parted out. And then the rest of the hair, I am going to come out and add a ponytail at the back left. From here, we're just going to spray down and comb out this front section. You can also add a little bit of spray gel to help give it some control. I'm just going to do a regular three strand braid until I get back to this second ponytail. Once it's long enough, you're going to take the front ponytail and add it to the second one. And that is it for style number two. Our final style is just triple flips. I'm going to take a section right in the middle of her head that is about two inches across, and then I'm gonna come back about two to three inches and part it across, adding um, water as I go. I like to add water to this back section to comb it out. That way I don't accidentally incorporate hair um, like you'll see me doing here. See how it ac accidentally incorporates into that front, front ponytail? If you keep that section wet back behind it and comb it out, it's less likely to happen. So I'm going to create another ponytail on the left. And in order to part this out, I have a little trick for you. I'll show you how I do it again on the right side. So after I've sprayed it down, I'm going to part to the side and then make kind of a U shape. And then you've got it all parted in one easy step. And I just kind of eyeball it to see side to side to make sure that it is about the same. If it's not, you can take it out and do it again. Next, I'm going to use my topsy tail tool, which I've linked in the description down below. I'm going to put it right down the middle of this ponytail, pull the hair through it, and then pull it all the way back through. Now, this is where it's really important to have clean ponytails. You'll get a much better flip with your topsy tail tool and it will actually stay a lot longer. In fact, we took this style and we used it as second day hair. Um, I left it in overnight and we just added all of this to a high ponytail and it was really great for um, her tumbling class. So I'm just going to do a third flip on this other side and then comb out all the hair behind it so it's nice and smooth. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye. Okay, see you next week.